BitShares is just a start. It's a prototype of what is possible in the cryptocurrency environment. There's lots of technologies out there that are being developed that are exploring the possibility that Bitcoin introduced. And BitShares is just the first. And I can see that it, the ideas that we see in BitShares are going to be matured, optimized, and um, applied at a broader scope. I see blockchains becoming faster, more efficient, and more flexible uh, than they have been in the past. Now that probably means some kind of scripting uh, and configurability, uh, but it has to be high performance because anything that cannot handle thousands of transactions per second uh, is not going to be adopted by the masses. My vision for a future is a nonviolent society where people can coexist peacefully with unparalleled economic prosperity. The amount of people that we can help in society by removing the burden of war and the economic inefficiencies that are introduced by coercion. Uh, well, the incentives will unleash productivity that is unimaginable. When I think about the how far behind we are today because of all the government meddling in the free market over the past hundred years. We think of the last hundred years as being the most uh, explosive growth uh, in all of history, but it uh, pales in comparison to what would have been possible without the economic destruction wrought by coercive government policies. I think this movement will ultimately end up like uh, the music industry. Early on, there's going to be lots of people doing Napster style stuff. It's going to be illegal. It's going to be some people that are going to be punished harshly. Uh, but eventually, you're going to get the iTunes. And it's probably going to start out all restricted with DRM. And eventually, uh, governments and the economic efficiencies associated with this technology will lead to a free and open system because the technology will be accepted, the limitations will be seen as artificial, and it's so easy for people to create alternatives and operate outside the system that all attempts to control will ultimately fail. But between now and then, it's going to go through a similar battle as the music industry went through when the internet came out. Our entire society depends upon the internet today as much as it depends upon power. If the internet breaks or is severely restricted, it will lead to extreme economic contraction. The internet is an escape more so than TV is. The number of people that would be adversely affected by having the internet cut off, it's almost like an addiction. Uh, people can't live without Facebook and without constant communication, uh, without the free ability to communicate that the internet represents. So I don't believe that the internet can be controlled uh, without massive dissent at least abruptly. I can see slow, pervasive um, censorship uh, that creeps up on people and people don't even notice it. Uh, the real end goal has to be freeing the internet infrastructure from monopolization. Uh, and that means innovating in areas of wireless communication um, and decentralized production. Because if we can all communicate directly from person to person without any wires, it's game over.